Hi everyone, so I am here today with another makeup date and I will actually be starting with my deck of panning um, which is actually I know everyone's everyone's wrapping up their projects and I'm here at the 11th hour being like let me get started because that's the kind of that's the kind of panner I am plus I just I feel like I only recently joined the panning community or at least been like actively uploading so I feel like this is finally my time to like jump in and also some of my other projects that I just started um, just started like a few weeks ago and so I feel like this is kind of along the same vibe I'm gonna jump in at the 11th hour of this project and actually carry it into next year so um, I'll be a little bit off from everyone else but I think that's okay it's my style and the way I've been doing things and I just couldn't let you know I just couldn't let up the opportunity just to like join in now and just um, get started on my project so I'm gonna start with my deck of panning stuff. Um, that way, if that's what you're here for, then you can just, you know, get through this portion. And then at the end, I'll do my regular makeup date um, materials, which is like my ins and outs that I've been having recently and any kind of makeup thoughts that I've been having. So let's get started. Um, I'm super excited. So this being an intro, <laughs> I don't have any products to, to show progress on. I'm just gonna jump right into it and, um, and choose my six cards. Um, or was it five cards? I'll go ahead and choose six. Why not? I'm already doing things differently. I'll just, you know, up the ante for myself. Um, so I actually just got my latest deck of cards in the mail today, which is another reason why I wanted to kind of um, do this uh, sooner than later was I was excited about these and wanted to show them to you. Um, I have a few other decks that I, because actually because of this project, I ordered other ones. So I'm excited to show them through to you throughout the progress of this project. Um, so I got uh, this deck called Fitness is Not a Game. Um, it's actually a um, prompts for like workouts. So you can draw however many and then that could be, you know, your workout and you can do however many number of reps you want. And I've just been trying to like improve my workout um, regimen and I'm hoping, I've actually, I actually looked into this a few years ago and I didn't get it at that point. And I tried using apps and things like that, but I kind of want to take things kind of offline off the screen and so um, I was thinking that maybe these would be a good option for me. Um, at this point in time when I'm filming it's 20 USD. I just got off of Amazon and um, I'm hoping that this will be a good option for me. They're all like you know like body weight exercises so I don't need like any equipment or anything like that. Um, and so I did it was a fresh deck. I shuffled it like four or five times uh, so you know nothing's in order here. <laughs> They're all shuffled and all different directions and then I am gonna put the Joker that they provide in here as well so let me turn that around and stick that in and let me just shuffle it a few more times here I have the game board up in front of me and uh, for those who aren't um, familiar with the project um, it was created by Emily and Max um, and she did a great job of setting up this project basically as you could probably tell it's based off of a deck of cards. Um, actually, when I first heard about the project, I was like, oh, it's Christmas themed. It's like deck of panning. And of course, we're coming up on Christmas. <laughs> I guess it's appropriate. Um, but I, at my, my first intuition was that it wasn't about a deck of cards. It was about, you know, deck the halls. <laughs> so anyways, if you wanted to know my thoughts on that. Um, but anyways, yeah. So basically, each card corresponds with a prompt on the game board. Um, Face cards, ace through king, or ace, jack, queen, king, all uh, have the same prompt throughout the year. And then um, for the other number cards, then they, they each correspond with the card. And Emily does a great job of shuffling the game board um, every month. So we really appreciate Emily for doing that. Um, I know it's probably <laughs> a tedious and tough job, but we really appreciate you doing that for us. And so um, I've been following almost everyone who's been doing deck of panning. If you have a view on your video, it was probably me sometime in the last year. <laughs> one of them at least one of the views was me i love everyone's deck of panning videos so i thought i want to jump in and kind of contribute um my take and my efforts on one so let's go ahead and draw a few more cuts here and then let's do it i'm a little nervous i don't know why i will say that um i do have my makeup collection in front of me and it's pretty minimal i've only taken what i've been kind of using every day plus a lot of my lip products so um, I'll just be choosing from that and if a prompt uh, doesn't perfectly fit then I'll probably like wiggle it to, to make it fit what I have um, and what I know about my collection. So 
and uh, no cuts. I know a lot of people, you guys are pros at editing and will like, you know, choose your products and cut back and I just don't have the time for that. So you'll be picking it live with me and my thoughts kind of along the way. So just bear with me, all right? All right, first card. I think I'm just, I think I'm just trying to kill time because I'm so nervous. All right, the first one here is uh it's tricep dip so that'll be actually as i pull these cards these will be part of my workout for tonight so you know you guys get to know what my workout is for tonight i'll do tricep dips uh eight of diamonds that corresponds with um not cruelty free so we'll see what i think is not cruelty free in my collection i don't know it that well to potentially know that so we'll see all right next one here is uh the three of hearts which is oh gosh burpees i really hate burpees <laughs> don't you this is a whole new spin to the deck of panning isn't it you get to know my workout and my thoughts on these workouts um three of hearts is newest i'm gonna actually also write it down here as i go and uh we already had not cruelty free and that is eight of diamonds and then um, we have Jack of Hearts, which uh, any black Jack is phone a friend. Ooh, I um, kind of want to pick them live with you, so I will need to figure out a way to. Uh, oh shoot, that's actually Jack of Hearts. The the black threw me off. Uh, Jack of Hearts is a random letter generator. All right, we'll do that. Letter generator. Um, and then that was three so far, so we need another one. This is King of Spades, which is Splurge. This is Ace of Spades, a Pike Plank. Oof, those are rough too. Uh, that's a focus product. It doesn't seem like I shuffled all that well, did I? Jack, King, and Ace <laughs> of all spades. Uh, I'll just have to do a better job next time, guys. I'm sorry. <laughs> Hopefully, as I do more workouts, they'll get shuffled more. All right, so we have uh, now five products, and this will be the last one. King of Hearts. That one is, oh, oh, King of Hearts. Oh, affordable, okay. I almost thought it was Ace of Hearts, and that one is plus one. I know many people in this in this month's round have been obliterated by a, a one prompt, which I'm sorry, that, that's rough. Um, okay, so this one is affordable. And that is the King of Hearts. All right. So... Thankfully, uh, no Joker this time, so I feel I feel lucky in that way. It would have been rough to start with a Joker for the very first one. Um, all right, newest was my three of... Oh, that's what I have on the list first. I don't think that's the first one I pulled, but three of hearts. Uh, my newest product, actually... Um, is that the one I want to do? I don't think I'll do my newest newest ones that I like just got in my in this month um is there anything in here that I actually want to use that is my newest I don't think so so I'm going to um choose something that's newer uh to my collection and I have been using um and also this I'm gonna go ahead and let this um project overlap with other projects I have like it's none of my projects gonna be exclusive so Saying that, I'm going to be pulling out, uh, I think this is the newest, this is like, out of what I can see, I think this is the newest one that I that I have. Um, this is my Viva Glam, MAC Viva Glam lip palette that is, nobody tried to go look for it, it's nine years old. Um, but uh, yeah, I, I'm, I'm working on this this year as as part of my, um, that's, that's like my palette that I'm going to plant, my, that my pan palette that I'm gonna pan so um so I'm gonna be using that one and that was also a sneak peek to an update that I wanted to give a little bit later um so with that being said um actually and also because I have such a cool deck I wanted to use the deck to um tell me how many times like what's my goal for for that um I think any 
Any face cards, I'll do 10 uses. Any, and for Ace, I'll actually do, um, for Ace, I will do, I'm trying to decide between 11 and 20. Like, should I just really up the ante if I get 20? Uh, or if I get the Ace? Let's give that a try. Let's, if I get Ace, I'll have to do 20 uses. Uh, I'll, I guess I'll change it if I feel bad about it. Okay, so for the Viva Down palette, I'm gonna be doing five uses on it, which I think should be pretty easy. Okay, the next one, it was not cruelty free. Okay, that was the eight of diamonds. And not cruelty free, that actually should be pretty easy in my collection. I can only think of a handful of things in here that might be cruelty free. So, um, I'm gonna go ahead and say my, I guess Elf is cruelty free. Um, I'm just, I actually don't have a device on me that can let me check. So I'm just gonna use something I've been using right now. And maybe if they say, if it says cruelty free on it, then I'm not gonna pick it. Uh, or I am gonna, yeah, I'm not going to pick it because I have to choose something not cruelty free. Okay, I'm going to go with this Bare Minerals Complexion Rescue. I just started using this like yesterday or today again. Um, it was in my rotation like back in the summer and then I was been focusing on something and it started to separate. So I really just, I think I just need to start like rotating through it better. So I'm going to pull this in and I'm going to use it for six uses. All right. That's going to be my, and if it is cruelty free, I'm really sorry. Um, I will still use it for the project's sake, but I'll correct myself. I'll look it up after this and then correct myself if needed. All right, the next one here is the um, Jack of Hearts. And I will randomly generate a letter somehow. Uh, I, again, I said I don't really have all my devices are being used right now for different things. So, um, so I think what I'm going to do is actually, you know what, I'm just going to pull it up. I shouldn't be lazy about this and, um, just do it. Random. Uh, my swipe keypad isn't working. First, you guys get all the rant, get all the uh, technical difficulties. Random uh, letter generator. All right. Random generator. Ready, set, go. Get X. Really, right now I get X. Okay. So um, let me pick something that is a random letter generator. Or uh, well, it just starts with letter X. Um, <laughs> I'm actually not that confident, to be honest. X is such a difficult, difficult um, letter, huh? I think for the sake of brevity, I will regenerate my letter. Just so I'm not, like, guessing throughout my, like collection here all right letter d um all right and that shouldn't be too hard um okay here we go this is the mac lipstick and originally it was in plum dandy sorry it's probably not going to focus um and i actually did mix it with other things in a franken lipstick that i did and i did a video on that so um i love i love how it turned out um but yes, I will use the lipstick that is housed in the packaging that says Plum Dandy. <laughs> I will use this one seven times. Five, six, seven. Again, I swear I tried to shuffle. Um, is that what they all say? But so far my uses have been five, six, and seven. All right, so the next one here is the King of Spades, King of Spades. And that one is a splurge item. Oh, I know this one. I am going to try to use 
This is the mini, but if I did get it in full size, it would definitely be a splurge. This is the Westman Atelier um, Cream Contour. I just love this packaging. It's so beautiful. It's definitely why it's a splurge item. It's in the shade Biscuit. And um, let's see how many uses I need on this one. And seven again. All right. I think that's good okay with that. Um, let's see. Biscuit times seven. Next one is the Ace of Spades, and that one is my Focus product. Um, I will pull in this one I have been diehard focusing on. This is the Patrick Ta lip gloss. As you can see, I'm almost done. And again, I'm going to update further on this in a little bit, but I'm so close to being done. Definitely focusing on this. Um, so let's see how many times for this project I need to be using it for. Six, six times. All right, last one here, King of Hearts, and um, affordable, 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 affordable. Let's do this e.l.f. one. This is my e.l.f. green camo color corrector. I really like this, um, and I will be using it 10 times. Oof, that's going to be a challenge, but that's kind of the point, right? All right, that was fun. So I have my products. They're all from my everyday, you know, kind of rotation already. But I think to now put it in a project and really focus in on them and have a reason not just be like, eh, I think I'll I think I'll focus on it, but I'm going to focus on it. So um, because next month is the end of Deck of Panning, I don't think that Emily's going to have an updated game board, which I totally understand. Like that's the whole point of it being a finale, right? So I think that these will, um, so what I might do is just use the current game board for next month as well. And, um, you know, just kind of refresh what I'm doing from there. So I will be using the same game board twice is what I'm planning. And then uh, in the new year with the new game board, um, I'll just pick up from there as well and, and give updates and just continue my project that way. So a little bit different um, and also a little bit off schedule, as you guys can tell. It's This is going up a little later than the 20th, which is when most people post. Uh, but I'll probably be going off schedule because um, I, I'm constantly watching panning videos and I realize there's a dip <laughs> sometimes towards like the middle of the month and also like right before the first and so I feel like if I can fill those holes for you guys a little bit I am totally down for it um so that's what I'm doing and also all these cards that I use today this will be my workout today so I'll put these aside and, and work on those tonight <laughs> all right I know I've been talking a long time already but let me go ahead and give you um a few of my ins and outs and kind of a makeup date recently um so a few, I don't really have that many outs actually. Do I, let me, let me put out my, my supplies down here and see if there's anything that I bookmarked as an out. Um, looks like these two, which, yeah, one of them is legitimate out. The Huda Beauty Lip Contour, finally finished this. There's like whatever's left inside of here. Um, but I don't think I'm going to dig it out. So I'm just going to move on. And actually I was mixing this with my, um, cream contour and that was really really nice because this is warm this is super cool so it's a kind of a good mix and so I realized that I really enjoy that um option and so let me see if I can find I don't know oh I must have put it away some for some reason that's okay I've been mixing this with another darker lip liner um from Rare Beauty and that's actually looked really nice as well I'm actually kind of surprised I can't find what I did in my collection all of a sudden um so I'll still look for it but that one's out and then um this one I threw in because I actually just decanted this this is a tart lip glaze or like a lip mask and it was just so hard to use out of this packaging I really don't like these squeeze tube packaging so I just put all of it into this little sample chart and this is a lot of product this has three grams in it I think so it's definitely deluxe size uh it's gonna be a lot to work through so I'll work on that and then um, the ins that I've had this month, um, this month is the, well, of course, Black Friday is coming up. I am going to do my best not to be purchasing anything, um, but I did have a few things that came in because of the Mac. Um, I was eyeing the Mac sale, but I don't think I actually, no, I did end up picking one thing that was on sale. Their holiday stuff is not eligible, in case you're wondering. So I picked up their Fix Plus set. Um, I am down to my only um 
setting spray, so I wanted to get a replacement. Um, and then because I used to be closer to a Mac store, so I felt like, oh, I'll just buy more Mac and like be a part of their loyalty and, and you know, get points and perks and all that stuff. But honestly, the Mac stores that um, aren't super close to me now where I live, and so I think I'm just sad. I need, I think I need to close my chapter with Mac, and um, there'll always be a few things that I'll buy from them, but I don't think I'll be as um, intent on buying from them and solely from them as I have in the past and kind of move on and kind of explore new things. Um, that's kind of the new season I'm in. I'm in. So, so in order to close that chapter with Mac, I had about 100 points, which qualified me for a perk. And um, the perks they had in store weren't great. So I ended up buying something online. I actually bought the um, sharpener. It's still in this packaging. But my current... <laughs> My only one is like so dingy. I don't even remember what brand this is. Um, maybe like Essence or something. It was, this is really old. This is definitely over a decade old. It's made in Germany though. You know, it's good quality when it's made in Germany. Um, and this one is sharp. Oh, this one's made in Ireland. I don't think I've ever seen anything made in Ireland. That's cool. So we'll see the quality of this. But um, yeah, that's why I got a replacement um, because I just, the current one I have is so old. And my toddler is starting to want to color with pencils and I don't really have a legitimate sharpener for her. So um, that's, I'll just, you know, use that one for, for her. And then with that, I got a few samples. Um, this is actually a really um, generous sample. This is uh, half an ounce of their cleanse, cleansing oil. Um, and so I'll try this. I don't really have, I might have one other cleansing oil in my collection right now, but they're all samples. So this will be nice to work through. Um, and then this is another sample they just threw in. This is from their Love Me liquid lip color, which I think they're actually phasing out because it's not really on their website anymore. And when I looked at the lot, the batch code on the back, it was made in like 2021. So this is definitely someone, I wonder if it's someone who just like found like a box of samples and was like, give it to everybody because it's so old. Because <laughs> I didn't request that one. And then the 100 point perk I got was their lip glass um, in clear. I've heard really, really good things about this. I heard the packaging is really messy, but the product itself is really good. So I'm excited to use this. I'm um, There's actually a generous amount of product in here. I think it's like seven mils. Yeah, seven mils, which um, it's like, I was looking at my other full size lip products, like the Patrick Ta one that I showed earlier. This one's nine mils. Uh, and this is actually the, the most, out of all of them and then some of the other lip glosses I have um the Glossier one looks super tiny compared to the other ones but this one actually has I think um like 4.1 mils or something like that yeah like 4.1 or 4.7 mils it's so tiny but that's even more than these full-size looking ones these one have 3.8 mils uh this one looks huge and this only has 3.8 mils makeup packaging it is crazy like you never know what you're gonna get like no wonder I've gone through these two so quickly and I've been like slaving away at this Patrick Ta one because it's it's literally it's more than to double the size of of these ones um I'm I'm like borderline thinking if I should double this in my little like project lip lab like the fun that I'm trying to bring it into trying to use it up for um but yeah like once you start looking at your products it's like eh, like they're definitely either trying you know inflation right <laughs> anyways um so those are the ins and outs and then a few products that i've been really focusing on lately and have seen a little bit of progress on is um i did show this already but my mac viva glam um as you can see i've hit some pan i hit a little bit of pan there and i think i actually hit a little bit so it's, it's you can you can't really tell a little bit of pan in the Vivo Glam Five, but it, it, starting from the corner is a little bit like cheating because three quarters of a circle is already completed for you. But I really did I think want to work the pan from that corner outwards, so um, so it'd be nice to kind of expand that. And I found out that I really really like Vivo Glam Six, which again is discontinued, so I can't get it. But I like that tone a lot. This is really pink. 
Um, but I like that too. I think I'll be using that a lot. And then I think the real challenge is going to be hitting pan and really working through these matte shades. I'm not really a matte person or creamy like lip color person. Um, but I do enjoy this one, which is Viva Gam 3, which is actually still available. Uh, Viva Gam 2 is a little too light for me. Uh, they don't sell this one. And this one I think will be nice for Christmas time-ish. But I don't really know how else I'm going to use it otherwise. So I'll really need to play through with these and kind of figure out uh, how to use these. And that's kind of the whole point. I'm enjoying it so far. Um, the other progress I have is, um, sorry, things in my collection here got a little shuffled around. I did want to give my two cents about, um, I know you just saw the cleansing oil that I got, which is from their Hyper Real line. And I also have samples from, of their serum and their um, skin canvas balm. And I'm actually already about halfway through with the serum and um, the balm. I think not quite half, maybe a third of the way through. Um, I was a little bit surprised that the serum actually has little shimmers in them. Um, you can't really tell when you put it on your face, but it just seems really odd to put shimmer in a serum. Um, these are also both a little bit too fragranced for me. So uh, actually the first few times I used it, my skin was like kind of freaking out a little bit, but I think it's I think it's gotten used to it, but I really wouldn't use stuff with a really strong fragrance in it otherwise. Um, but yeah, that's kind of my thought on, on those. Um, quick, oh, here we go. I have another few quick updates here. Let me see, oh, here it is. Um, so I continue to have progress with my palette here. Um, as you can see, I've hit some pretty big pan in this one, but it's also like really shallowly pressed to begin with because this was a Franken pan. Um, this one has widened a bit. This one has widened a lot. Um, I don't have any comparison photos, so I'm just kind of like talking through it. But yeah, mainly this one I'm definitely most proud of. And actually, funny enough, the little spot you see is actually a little bit of product. So I'll be working away at that one and we'll really be expanding the pan pretty quickly from there on out. Um, so yeah, that one's been, that's, I just continue to work through those shades. I don't really work through other palettes or anything like that. And then I also, um, because I used up that Huda lip liner, I actually really wanted to, um, just see if like a cream contour is what I really like. I know I have this one, but the stick format is like kind of awkward to work with. Um, really, really nice product, but kind of awkward to work with. So I'm trying to think like, do I need like a big pan? Do I need it to be liquid? I don't really know, but either way I was like, let me, let me try to concoct something and just try it. And then, you know, once I use up stuff and you know, um, then maybe I can, I can buy something. So I did end up making uh, my own cream contour uh, using a bit of the primer that I've been trying to work through right now, which is this Elizabeth Mott SPF primer. And then I also have this super old sleek palette. I don't even know if sleek's around all that much anymore, but I haven't heard about them for a long time. It's like OG YouTube makeup over here. Um, yeah, this contour, I, as you can see, I kind of scraped some out and then um, mixed it in here. And I think originally there was also a luminizing primer in here. So I just like threw that in and mixed that in too. And um, yeah, it came out with actually a really nice shade and I just loaded up on my brush and go to town and it's actually really, really nice consistency. So I think my goal for that is to continue to, you know, use up my primer and my contour, my powder contour in that way. Um, and and then kind of once I've hit, maybe used I don't know about half but I'm really not gravitating towards my powder contour otherwise um I think I really am more like cream contour cream blush cream bronzer phase of my life right now um so I think I might end up trying to half is a lofty goal because there's a lot of product in here um 20 grams all together in this palette originally so about a third of that is like seven grams um that's a lot of product but you know what i am not gonna use it otherwise so i'm gonna try to keep doing that um and it really makes me think that maybe that's what i can do moving forward like instead of i really want to phase out a lot of cream products in my life um i know i just said i want to use more cream and more blush <laughs> cream you know bronzer and blush but I think, um, like, why can't I mix it? You know, like primer is such a really, really good mixer. And especially if I'm using up primers and I have a lot of primers in my collection, 
then why not mix them and then make my own? Um, and it might be a little messy, it might not be like the most spectacular packaging or whatever, but I think it says something about just the basis of cream products and what they're really made out of and how can I use my collection to, to kind of um, get to the, you know, consistency I want, but without going out and purchasing a product solely because of its consistency. You know what I mean? And I've actually even been thinking that for um, my like complexion products too. Like why not just scrape some face powder? Like, you know, cause I have the Mac studio um, over here, the Mac studio fix powder. And this is like pretty high coverage for a powder. Like why not just mix some face powder into you know, maybe a moisturizer to make it more high coverage, a tinted moisturizer to make it more high coverage, um, or even my primer to make it, you know, I think I'm just starting to like think through things like that and trying to make my collection more flexible in that way. Um, I've also really been getting into like powder cleansers and um, I'm even looking to powder shampoo as my next shampoo too. So I'll keep you guys updated on my thoughts about that because I think it is one, I feel like powder products obviously last a lot longer. If I can concoct it to the way I like, then you know I can make small batches and use it up and, and feel like I'm making progress on my collection overall. Um, yeah, I'm kind of excited about exploring that a little bit. So I'll give you guys so you know I'll give you guys my thoughts on that as I go along. And then quick update on my project lip lab. I'm still on paper. <laughs> As you can see here, I have a lot of things that happened over the last, let's see, two-ish weeks, a little more than that. I started on the 5th, um, but yeah, but so far, I think just between everything, my f funds, the what I put towards my funds is about $87.5, and that's including the stuff that I purchased. I kind of had a whole in and out, and like, especially with the Mac stuff that I knew for the sale I wanted to get, so... I did um, end up taking out, I think, $22 for the um, setting spray. It actually cost $33, but according to my little $5 per ounce of setting spray rule, um, I'm sure I sound crazy, but I, I have, I put costs towards ounces and amounts that I use up versus like the actual retail price. Um, anyways, so that's the setting spray put me back uh, $22.5 in my fund. Um, and then because of the like the sample that I got, because I don't really need any more lip gloss, this actually counted double and that was $24 against it. And then I also knew that, you know, some of this skincare stuff was coming in. So um, that whole thing I had to take out $34 for, and, like that little order. Um, and that brought me down but so that means really i've used up or have put towards my fund about like like over a hundred and it's like a hundred and thirty a hundred and forty dollars uh which is really impressive to me but remember I, i'm not just using makeup to go towards the fund uh, i included workouts because i uh as you saw in the video i'm trying to up my workout game and it was has been really really hard this year so i did start giving myself some some something towards my fund for workouts that i do um also for um if i'm sleeping earlier <laughs> My sleep schedule has been absolutely terrible. Um, and so I did put sleeping as an incentive in this fund. Uh, so for every half hour that I sleep earlier, I put a dollar towards the fund. I usually sleep at midnight. I can't believe I do that. Anyways, um, and then some of like the health related stuff, I, I did manage to do that and that contributed towards the fund too. So all that being said, I feel pretty good. I am past the... Um, 10% mark. I have my, I have an $800 goal. I'm past the 10% mark on, on this project and um, I'm looking forward to continuing this because this is actually a really, really good incentive. Um, and funny enough, one question that came to mind when I was kind of looking at some of the MAC stuff to buy, they have this um, beautiful, beautiful lip balm, this Fizzy Feels lip balm that went super, super viral last year um, and it has come back this year along with a blue version of it. Both of them look spectacular, and I was just so drawn to it and was so tempted by it. But it was one of the funny thoughts that came was like, am I going to lose my project lip lab goals because of this product? Because, um, you know, each one would, each 
of those lip balms would cost would put me back forty you know forty dollars towards my fund. Um, they only cost twenty five dollars, but you know according to my to my project rules. And I was like, I don't know, uh, that doesn't seem worth it to me. So I actually I did end up going to the store and swatching it. And the blue one was just too blue for me. The like the gold one was just yeah, it's just I'm starting to lean more towards cool colors, so I just decided to pass on it and. Just trying to be happy for the people who got it this year. You know, congratulations to you, but I won't be putting my money towards that. And I uh, will just be trucking along on my project instead. So trying to channel those types of thoughts into my projects and into my project panning um, goals this year. So that's where I'm at. Thank you so much for watching. I know this was a longer video, but I'm excited to give you updates on my project panning goals and, uh, you know, continue. I think I have a few pro products in the pipeline to roll out, a few lip products, which I'm very, very excited about. Um, and so I will give you those updates next time. So thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful Thanksgiving to those who are celebrating here in the U.S. And I will see you all next time.